Good morning, folks. There's all kinds of news all over the place this morning, so let's say hello to our star here in 171 Angstroms and then get right to it over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star were pretty calm, minor little pops, and that's it. I am checking other satellites during the eclipse blackout periods to make sure nothing happened. The yellowish hue to the brighter region on the north is where the sunspots fell apart. If they were still a factor, we would see little bright flashes there. So let's come to the solar wind, where the stream remains fairly steady, but with a stutter step of sorts, a pump fake overnight, and Earth's magnetic shield bit on it. We're back into geomagnetic storm conditions, and FYI, our app won't bug you more than once every two days for these level 1 storms. Let's peek in on the sun diving comet. If it's coming in between the 7 and 8 o'clock positions, the CME releases around 1 or 2. Not coming at Earth, not terribly powerful, but it is easily visible on the Soho Lasco C3, the Stereo A Core 2 images, and then the breakup and disintegration on the C2 feeds. Let's peek in on the top earthquake of the last day, magnitude 5.9. This area is and has been on red alert. In truth, a number of readings still put that rumble over the 6 point mark as high as 6.2. Folks, this is a LiDAR scan, and while it can't pick up leaf shapes, they knew they were over the rainforest, so they set every single data high point to terminate in a leaf shape, and what do you know? Looks just like a forest. Pretty cool until you realize the technology our government doesn't tell us about could probably tell them how many hairs are on your head from space. Speaking of space, let's go up to one of the best edge-on galaxies in view. What's cool about this one is the battle scar. Extending and bending up on the right side is a dark piece that should be lower in the disk, but was likely broken off or ripped away during a galactic close approach long ago, and it is still separating. Let's jump to the polar vortex level on the wind map, and this is one month ago on February 4th. See all the white in the polar vortex as it is powerful when it peaks in the north, with the southern flow mostly weaker and homogeneous with the equatorial flow. Not the case anymore. Now the northern flow is breaking up, weakening, separating, and we see opposite flows in the south against the equatorial flow. In a couple of months, it'll look completely reversed. Let's jump to a piece by Yale and the Weather Channel on public perception of climate change. First, we do have a majority thinking we are warming up, but it pales in comparison to what one might expect. And here's the encouraging part. Yellow to orange means you think it's our fault, and the blues represent the perhaps smarter parts of the country who can do more than just read the headlines or parrot key phrases. These people can think for themselves and maybe even do a bit of digging into the real data. Gotta say, though, got some work to do here in my hometown. Way too orange and yellow for my liking. Anyway, let's come now to the southwestern Indian Ocean where a powerful cyclone is forming and racing towards the coast of Madagascar. It's going to arrive in another day or two, at which point the risk to life will be significant. Top alerts today are spread. In the Americas, we are seeing more coming to northern California, and the Gulf of Mexico flow is going to rise up and drop on Texas tonight and into tomorrow as well. Across the pond in Europe, the story is still that North Atlantic low, reaching inland and flood watches for prone areas remain. Lastly, folks, the system still sits at northern Australia, but the East Coast event is going to slowly start making its way towards New Zealand after some last showers today and possibly some high winds. Well, folks, 11 tickets left. I really do mean it this time. We cannot expand the seating anymore, especially since we're only a month away and final plans are being set. 11 tickets left. We've got the rest of your pressure and radar forecasts, a null school run, and shots of our star to close. It's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.